Hi and welcome. Lisa here for Honeybee Stamps. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm trying something new, an A7 size card. Now I recently picked up the Threshold Card Honeycut set and decided I wanted to give it a go today. I really wanted that set to go with the itty bitty leaves and itty bitty pumpkins. I knew those were going to be perfect to decorate the wreath that came with this die set. And I'm going to be using the new autumn afternoon paper pad as well. So this card is all about die cutting. I did all of that off screen. I'm not sharing any special techniques. It's just basic die cutting. I figured you guys would be okay with not watching me do a bunch of die cutting. I'm using craft cardstock. It's actually envelopes. I have a bunch of craft envelopes left over from a party that I did a few years ago, and I really need to find a way to use those up. So I decided I would run them through my die cut machine with a few pieces, a few dies from this die set. So the back layer to the door, I ran through twice with the craft cardstock using my honeybee glue to stack those together and then a piece of navy cardstock on that. I trimmed a piece of this gorgeous autumn afternoon pattern paper down to four inches wide and I'm going to be using glue to adhere it to the back of the door. First I wanted to score panels on the pattern paper. I laid it front side up on my mini scoreboard. This makes it so much easier to see where I'm scoring. And once I have all the lines laid exactly where I want them, I just flip it over and then go back over them one more time. A little bit of glue to the front of that pattern paper because we're gluing it to the back of the door. And we're going to take our time to make sure everything's lined up nice and straight. So I did take my A7 card base and run it through my die cut machine in an embossing folder. You can use any embossing folder you have for that. I just really wanted to add some interest to that white cardstock. It was um, just not working for me the way that it was. The threshold, I just added mounting foam to the bottom half of it and liquid to the top half and then placed it at the bottom of the door. It's so easy to add to the card because it runs the width of an A7 card. So you don't have to worry about centering it too much. Some copper glitter card stock to add the placard and the door handle. And then for the wreath, I used the <laughs> craft envelopes again. And some of the itty bitty leaves were cut from that as well. Uh, the copper glitter card stock for the pumpkins and some leaves out of the navy card stock as well. So I used glue to add the wreaths and then I'm using some round foam adhesives on the back of the pumpkins and those leaves. I decided to come in with my copper jelly roll pen and add some details to the navy card stock. And the hello that comes with the threshold set, it's gorgeous scripty font. I love it. So I cut several layers of it and layered those together, stacked them together with glue. And then I just add a little bit of liquid glue to each end and center it up on my wreath. And now we have this gorgeous fall wreath and the colors. I absolutely love these colors together. And that's going to bring us to the end of the video. I really appreciate you joining me. I hope you'll click that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of new content to the channel. And you know you can head over to the Honeybee Stamps website for more information on the products used. And until next time, take care and keep crafting.